If you want to take a real world inequality scenario and turn it into an inequality, you need to be looking for operation language. Those are things that would tell you whether you're going to add, subtract, multiply, or divide. You also need to be looking for inequality language. That's going to tell you which inequality symbol to use. Less than, greater than, less than or equal to, or greater than or equal to. So let's look at a few examples to see what this would look like. Example one says you need to read at least 20 minutes in SSR. So at least is a word that means greater than or equal to. So we know we're going to be using the greater than or equal to symbol in our inequality. And because it says at least 20 minutes, that's going to be greater than or equal to 20. So far, you've read seven minutes. We want to know how many more you need to read. We're going to call that X because it's an unknown value. So if you think about how you would get that 20, you would take the seven minutes that you already read, and then you would add that to the other minutes that you're going to read, and that would give you that total of 20. So our inequality for this situation is 7 plus x is greater than or equal to 20. You could also write that as x plus 7 is greater than or equal to 20 because we can switch around the addition. Example 2 <clears throat> says Ryan has fewer than $15 left in his wallet. So fewer than is the same thing as less than. So we know we're going to be using the less than symbol and it says less than 15. So it's going to say less than 15. That's after spending $25. So when you spend money, that's ta being taken away from what you originally had. So we're trying to figure out what he originally had. What did he begin with? And that's going to be our X here. So whatever he had to begin with, minus the $25 that he spent has to be less than $15. So that's our inequality for that situation. Example three says Johanna's parents give her $10 per week as an allowance. $10 per week. So if you wanted to know how much money she has, you could take that $10 and you could multiply it by how many weeks she's been saving and that's going to tell you how much money she has. We want to know how many weeks does she need to save. We don't know that. That's our X. In order to have over $75. Over means greater than. And we know it's going to be greater than 75. And like I said, we would multiply 10 times the number of weeks, which is X, to figure out how much she has saved. So 10X has to be greater than 75. Our last example says, Mrs. Munn splits a package of pins equally between her nine students. So when I see split equally, that makes me think of division and it's being split equally among nine students. We also see the word each here. So each means multiplying or dividing, that could help us. Uh, and then it says no more than four pins. No more than is inequality language that means less than or equal to. So we know it's going to be less than or equal to four. And we want to know how many pins were in that package. I'm going to call that X. That was the total that she started with. So if we take her total that she started with, we're going to split that equally or divide it up among the nine students. So that would be X divided by nine. And then it has to be less than or equal to four.